<coughs> Hi, my name is Jay, and I have cystic fibrosis. So far we've talked a lot about lungs. Uh, if you missed it, you can check out my video on honey lungs to hear more about how I can't breathe. But what you may not know is that I also can't eat. You see, in your average digestive system, the pancreas is in charge of making sure your small intestine is full of the enzymes you need to break down your food. Those enzymes are what turn your food into fuel. My pancreas is clogged with mucus, which makes it difficult for those digestive enzymes to get to the food. Luckily, they make a pill for that. Actually, they make a handful of pills for that. Throwing down six to nine of these capsules before a meal will help my body make some use of the food I've shoved down my throat. Without them, it's like my mouth is in a relay race with my pants and my breakfast is the baton. These capsules are filled with tiny time-release spheres that magically turn into digestive enzymes when the time is right. Or almost right. Um, using pills to digest your food isn't an exact science. And because of that, my body is like a car that gets terrible gas mileage. I have to eat a lot of high-calorie, high-fat food just to stay at a normal weight. You ever see those commercials for ridiculous food items like the KFC Double Down or the Denny's Bacon Milkshake and wonder, who would eat that? I am the answer to that question. Gaining weight has been a huge struggle for me and keeping it on is even harder. Right now, I'm about 169 pounds, which as you can tell is mostly muscle. Uh, seriously, exercise is a big part of the equation, but it's not the only part. It actually took me about five years to get to the weight I'm at now. At the age of 25, my weight had dropped from 135 pounds to 130. Part of the problem was that my stomach was dissolving my pills before they had a chance to do their business. To fix this, my doctor said he was going to put me on a proton pump inhibitor, which I was really excited about because I assumed it had something to do with Ghostbusters. As it turns out, it's just a meprazole, but it keeps my stomach from filling with the acid that dissolves the pills, which is cool, though it is a little depressing that even my pills need pills. That also happened to be the year that I was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis related diabetes, which I got because my pancreas is scarred or clogged enough to have pretty much given up on making insulin by itself. Luckily, they make a pill for that too, which apparently isn't supposed to work for me, but does anyway. That, however, is a story for another day. Uh, the point of this is that I need to eat a lot of food and hope those pills digest some of it before my ass hits the toilet. Remember when I said that my body is like a car that gets poor mileage? Well, it wouldn't pass emissions either. The process of digesting your pills, your, excuse me, digesting your food with pills can kick up a lot of gas, but it's nowhere near as bad as the fiery liquid poops I make without the pills. Even with the pills, sometimes my turds float due to malabsorption, which means they're filled with fat, and I assure you that's just as exciting and charming as it sounds. On that note, uh, I had some burgers earlier, so I'm going to make those come out now. Uh, to read more of my wacky adventures, you can check out my website at can'teatcan'tbreathe.com. To be the first to see these fine videos, uh, feel free to subscribe, and if you made it this far, thanks for watching. And without them, it's... No, that's fucking stupid.